you again, senorita. At least you can now say the feeling is mutual. Before dinner, I was going to tell you about my people. Yes? You have heard of Silver Bullet Mine? I've heard of the place, but it's the one town in our district that I haven't visited. Silver Bullet has many ghosts, my friend, and an evil history. So I've been told. Is it true that the conquistadors had to use Indian slaves to work the mine? See? And when Mexico won her independence, the Indians destroyed the mine and ran away. The silver bullet was deserted till some of the people reopened. Well, our miners didn't do so well with it either, from what I've heard. The ore was low grade and the railroad was quite a ways off. Just another case of too much work for too little silver. If that is true, senor, then why did the owner of this mine send to Mexico for workers? You mean the mine owner promised jobs to anyone who'd go there? Yes, si, senor, and at high wages, too. Twenty-five of our people cross the border to work in this mine. But that's not unusual. A lot of your people have gone to work in the States. Ah, yes. But they always come back or send for their families. But these men that went to Silver Bullet, they vanish, and we never hear from them again. A lot of Americans have vanished, too. But they're usually hiding from the law. But our people are not criminals. I realize that, senorita. By the way, what about Don Enrique? Where does he fit in there? Until you came, Senor Cassidy, there were no Texas Rangers here. I could not send my patrol across the border, so Don Enrique volunteered to go. As a private citizen, he took with him only one man. Don Enrique did not return. But his horse returned with that vaquero. Yes, he was murdered before he could tell you his secret. Now I'm beginning to understand why you don't trust us. I can't say that I blame you much. I guess the only way we can change your opinion is to help solve this mystery. We'll leave for Silver Bullet the first thing in the morning. I'm on your debt, senor. But there is so little I can do to help you. There is one thing you can do. See? Si. Let us take Don Enrique's horse. He may remember the trail. Bueno. But you cannot let them go alone. Suppose your newfound friends do find our missing people. How do you know they will bring them back? But, senorita, I cannot send our soldiers across the border. But you can send me. I'm not one of your soldiers. Say, but... Hoppy, that's a swell idea. Yeah, there's only one thing wrong with it, though. The senorita is contraband. Contraband? 
Being a Texas Ranger, you should know you can't take an unattached young lady across the border. That's right. Of course, she wouldn't be unattached if you could persuade her to marry you before we left. That's right. You may enjoy that brand of humor, but I don't. Senorita, one moment. If you must leave, let me give you an escort to your hacienda. Oh, I'd be glad to see you home. No, thanks. I feel safer, alone. Poppy, you shouldn't have said that. Just when she's beginning to warm up to us. I didn't notice that she had. But maybe you'd better run along and apologize for me. And you'd better stop dreaming about romantic moonlight rides with the senorita. <laughs> senorita, Poppy was only joking about our getting married. I wouldn't ask you to marry me. That is, I mean, well, I would. Oh, you know what I mean. Perfectly. It's as clear as most of your explanations. Oh, you've got to trust us. We'll find Don Enrique if anyone can, and we won't disappear like the rest of them. That remains to be seen. There they are. Las Montañas de los Perdidos. The mountains of missing men, huh? We'll see if we can't change the name of those before we get through. Thanks for your hospitality, senor. You are welcome. And if you are successful, senores, my people will be grateful to you forever. Good luck. Thank you. Adios. I'm quitting the Texas Rangers right now. You're quitting? Yeah. I was hired to patrol the Mexican border, wasn't I? Yeah. Not the Canadian. No. No. We must be near the North Pole. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. I think we've got ourselves lost. Yeah, but we haven't lost whoever's trailing us. I'll bet ten to one it's that female poisoner. Maybe so. But look what's up ahead.
tell you, we rode plumb into a foreign country. Uh, the kingdom of Silver Bullet, huh? Well, let's see if we can get a passport. Hold it. This is the only kind of passport we issue. Now turn around and get out. We're Texas Rangers and we have authority to enter any town in the state. Nobody enters Silver Bullet without a warrant from Sheriff Crimp. Did he give you a warrant to shoot a Mexican in the back? There's your answer. gunman to drop his gun. You go, but first you can answer a couple of questions. You shot that Mexican down the river, didn't you? You can't make me talk. California, take him some slack. No, no, I shot him. Why? I had a warrant for him. He was an escaped criminal. It's the truth. You, you can ask Krebs. We intend to. Hang on to him. Where does this road lead to? Kansas City, as straight as a crow flies. Is there silver ore in those wagons? No, that's a Sunday school class on a picnic. We'd finished you off, Vector. You wouldn't be so smart. 
How many Mexicans work in that mine? Ask Kraft. All right, we will. Get going. Town, all right. Yeah, even a ghost would die of lonesomeness up here. The rest of Scrubs ain't no ghost. He's mayor, sheriff, and owner of Silver Bullet. Are you a rest of Krebs? They blasted away in, Mr. Krebs. They tried to kill me and Quinn. Sometimes we have to blast our way in. I'm Cassidy of the Texas Rangers. You are trespassing, Mr. Cassidy. Not according to the laws of Texas. I don't recognize the laws of Texas, Mr. Cassidy. I am the law here. Oh. Then maybe you can explain what law your two gunmen invoked when they killed an unarmed Mexican down at the border. I'd rather have you explain why one of your men has a stolen horse. That's one of the reasons we came here to find out what happened to the owner of that horse and a number of other Mexicans. I haven't seen any Mexicans since you killed Don Enrique Perez. Since we killed? You must be insane. If you have evidence that I'm insane, you can produce it at the trial. At what trial? Yours, naturally. You and your friends are under arrest, Mr. Cassidy. Ah, that's ridiculous. You can't arrest us. Can't arrest you? I already have. Look around. Keep your hands away from your guns, gentlemen, and climb down. Here we go again. Do you mind telling me what we're charged with? Trespassing, horse rustling, assault with deadly intent upon two officers of the law, robbery, and murder. Hmm. That seems to be sufficient. Yeah, that's funny. But you'll have to prove those charges in a regular court of law. Why, we have a court of law here. Just because we're a long ways from civilization doesn't mean that we don't act legal. Now, don't tell me who the judge is. Let me guess, huh? Uh, could it be, uh, arrest or scrabs? Correct. Well, John, God. I figure that when the law is centralized, there's less red tape. Well, you seem to have eliminated all of it. This way into the courthouse, gentlemen. since we joined the Rangers, but somebody's always arresting us. Or does he really think we're guilty? Well, if it is a joke, he's not figuring on us laughing at all. of Mr. Cassidy and his fellow horse thieves versus the people of Silver Bullet is hereby declared in session. Guilty or not guilty? Since you've already made up your mind, what's the difference? Saves a lot of time to plead guilty. We don't want to be here all day. Now, wait a minute. Since you're so gall darn legal, we demand a trial of a jury. Well, I calculate you got a right to a jury trial. But we only got 12 men here all together, and two of them are bailiffs. So you'll have to get along without a full panel. All right, jury. Take your places. It might interest the court to know that at least half of those jurymen are known criminals. Is that so? man 
Dan Quinn is wanted for robbery in three states. The man next to him is Pete Turner. I've seen that face plastered on sheriff's posters all over the state of Texas. The fourth man is a notorious cattle rustler. I must remind you, Mr. Cassidy, that the state of Texas and the Commonwealth of Silver Bullet have two different codes. As long as a man's a law-abiding citizen here, I don't bother much about his past. Yeah, how about a drink for the jury, Your Honor? Absolutely not. Got to have a clear head to reach a fair decision. Brody, any witnesses for the prosecution? Well, I'm a witness, Your Honor. Since when can Jurman testify? Uh, now, let me see. There's a, a ruling on that somewhere in the code. Oh, yeah, here it is, Article 7. No citizen shall be denied the right to act as witness by virtue of jury duty. Who wrote that code? Why, well, I did, naturally. I object. Objection overruled. Hey, Mr. Krebs, there's a female riding down the street. A female? Hey, there they are. I'm mayor here. I handle visitors. Court's adjourned for ten minutes. You men keep your eye on the prisoners. Judge Krebs, arrest this Krebs at your service. I'm in this Lavarca. In it. You're the first lady to honor Silver Bullet with a visit in the past ten years. You are alone? Si, senor. You came here unescorted all the way from the border? I followed your three other visitors. But for what purpose, senorita? I'm looking for some of my countrymen who came to work here. Well, there are no Mexicans here, senorita. What about the owner of that horse, Don Enrique Perez? Don Enrique? Then you knew him. My child, I must talk with you. No, not that door. There's a trial going on in there. A trial? You don't mean the three rangers? Not rangers, my dear. Horse thieves. They stole Don Enrique's horse. What does she look like, Lauren? All right. Do you suppose she's the one that Mexican had a picture of? Shut up. If that's Inez, what's Krebs going to do now? The judge only wants to hang us, but she'll demand death by slow torture. Oh, you're full of hops. She'll testify for us. Don't be too sure, Johnny. If she trusted us, she wouldn't be here. And I was sure they were guilty, too, when I saw them at the river, standing over Ramon's body. But the commandante said they were rangers. And they had papers to prove it. Papers can be stolen. But your eyes did not deceive you. We have witnesses who saw them murder someone else. Someone else? You don't mean Ronan. What happened to Don Enrique? Prepare yourself for a shock, senorita. These men killed him. They killed him, and then they trailed his companion to the border and shot him, too, so there'd be no evidence. But you saw them. Enrique. Enrique. Poor child, I share your sorrow, and I need your help. The murderers have been caught, but it's my duty to see that they get a fair trial. Your testimony must be given in court. I... I couldn't talk to them now. I can't face it. But, senorita, do you want them to go free to murder again? No. I will testify. Take your hats off in the courtroom.
to your witness. You swear the testimony you're about to give be the truth, plain truth, and nothing else? Do you identify the defendants as the men you saw with the stolen horse of Don Enrique Perez? I do. You heard two shots, and then you saw them beside the body of a dead man. Is that correct? Yes. Where were they going when you stopped them? Back into the mountains. Did they attempt to resist you? Hmm. Proceed with your testimony. Well, this Don Enrique and another Mexican came here looking for some missing men. They didn't find any, so they headed back to the border. Me and Quinn followed them away. What happened then? Well, they were ambushed about a mile the other side of the big rocks. I saw her all from the lookout. Don Enrique was killed, and the other one got away. They chased him. Can you identify the men who ambushed Don Enrique? Sure, they're sitting right over there. I object. This witness has already confessed that he committed the murder. Objection overruled. Uh -oh. Well, I calculate we've heard enough evidence to hang them three times over. Does the jury have to leave the room to reach a verdict? Guilty. Hmm. And I might as well pronounce sentence. Too blamed hot for a hanging now. Besides, we never hang criminals here on an empty stomach. And so I hereby condemn you three to hang by the neck till dead, after dinner. Oh, uh, Krebs, that's a very nice bit of framing. Take them away. Don't trust him, senorita. Get Krebs to show you the mine. All right, they're out. You must be very tired. I'll have a room prepared for you. Later, when you have rested, I'll have my men escort you back to the border. It's all so confusing. Now that it's over, I don't know what to believe. Oh, senorita, it was your testimony that helped convict them. Hanging them won't bring Enrique back. Hanging them doesn't solve the mystery. And what reason would they have for killing him? Why, that's simple enough. They thought Don Enrique was carrying silver from the mine, so they shot him. Then why did they return to Silver Bullet? To rob the mine itself. They didn't know how well it was guarded. Other bandits have tried to rob me. That's why I allow no strangers to enter Silver Bullet. But you sent word to Mexico that workers were needed at the Silver Bullet mine. Well, that's just a rumor. I have more than enough men at the mine as it is. I want to see your mine with my own eyes. Don't you trust me, child? Right now, I don't trust anyone. Very well, my dear. As a special favor to a gallant lady, I shall take you to see the mine this afternoon. time I find an honest man, I don't want one. <laughs> well, if I have to hang, I'd at least like to know why. sights here at the mine, he doesn't want her to get the wrong impression. Her? Yes, a senorita. Hide those men in the shaft. Okay. Here is she going to be. Here is Shut up! 
Get back in the mine. Oh, no, senor. This visitor wants to see us, and she shan't. bring the ore out of the mine, load it on wagons, and haul it to the railroad. And that's all? All there is to it? That's all. We don't have any modern equipment up here. We mine our silver with sweat and calluses. But so few men are working. Well, most of the boys are in town today for the hanging. But perhaps you'd like to question these men regarding your missing Mexican. Si, senor. I would. Howdy, Mr. Crabb. Howdy. Howdy, miss. Boys, this young lady is searching for some countrymen of hers who crossed the border south of here and then disappeared. Have any of you men heard tell of them? No. Where does that tunnel lead to? That's just an old deserted mine shaft. Hasn't been worked for years. Do you mind if I take a look at it? Why, not at all, senorita. But be careful, it's half flooded. Never mind. Let's ride back to town. Oh, what was that? What do you mean? That the sound. Oh, oh that. Oh, why, why that's no just an old blind donk he used to work in the mine. We call him the ghost. He still lives in there and braves to keep himself company. I can't blame you for being suspicious after what you've been through. The fact is, I'd forgotten how pleasant a lady's company can be. Nothing silver bullet needs more than a woman's touch. And uh, her cooking? Oh, if you only knew. We haven't had a decent meal around here for years. Then, then perhaps I should cook you a dinner before I return to Mexico. Well, that's my kind of a mess, but it's too much work. Oh, no, senor. A special one, just for you and the three prisoners. You? Cook for those cutthroats after what they've done to you? Senor, you don't know how a senorita's mind works. I would like to give them something to remember me by. Now, all right. As long as you don't poison them. You've got to die legal. Thank you, Mr. Krabs. Almost ready, senorita? In just a few minutes, Judge. Do you think they like my cooking? Oh, well, shucks, a little indigestion ain't gonna hurt them none. Not where they're going. I hope you're not angry with me for taking over your kitchen. I'm not after your job. Oh, well, anybody can have this job for a plug nickel. All the fellas do is just sit around and complain about the food. Yeah, they crab, crab, crab. Uh, that's, that's what they do. That ain't what I give them to eat. But when a man's cooking for 40 men every day, you can't expect to please everybody. Did you say 40 men? I haven't seen half that many around here. 40 didn't. Did you think I said four? Oh, I might have, I meant it, it seems like 40. You know, the way the fellas eat and everything. Uh, uh, would you go and take a look at the beans, please? Oh, no. Stir them up a Don't do that. 
I like to serve that way. Oh, oh. different. I just, I just love beans. You do? Yeah. There's no bones in them like there is in the fish. Uh, never mind. I'll take it into them. Oh. Just a minute, young lady. Don't forget, part of that food's mine. Uh, I hope it tastes as good as it looks. Hmm. Much too good for them. You know, I can eat a dozen of these things myself. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, there's just enough for the three prisoners. Let me take the food in to them. I'm sorry, Senorita, but you can't talk to the prisoners. Oh, why? I want to see their faces when they choke on their last meal. You do? <laughs> you can see the hanging. Won't that be enough? More than enough. I'll be right back. Here's your dinner. You'll never have as good a meal as this again as long as you live. A special dinner prepared by the young lady who helped send you to the gallery. You mean that Lucretia Borgie fixed our last meal on earth? Mm hmm. Wasn't it kind of her? I object. Hanging is bad enough, but you ain't gonna poison us, too. What's the matter with you? The food's delicious. I tasted it myself. Just give me plain grub. I ate one of her delicious doodads once before, and I ain't gonna eat them again. Well, take it or leave it. Make up your mind. So the execution starts in 15 minutes. Hey, Kreb. Would you mind sending the girl in? I'd like to thank her for the meal. She's already seen the mine, if that's what's bothering you. And her curiosity is satisfied. Why didn't you sentence us to hard labor in your mine? That's a privilege reserved for petty criminals, not for the likes of you. You won't be able to hang all the rangers that come here, and there'll be plenty of them to follow. Well, what if others do come? I'll be in the clear. You're legally convicted by the young lady's testimony. There's nothing like law and order. At least we're getting near the truth. He practically admitted he condemned those missing men to penal labor. He condemned us to hang because we might interfere with his peonage system. Yeah, and I guess he outsmarted the girl, too. Have one? No, no, I ain't that hungry. How about two, Hoppy? No, thanks. Ain't you bit into one of them torpedo peppers yet? No. No? But I've lost my appetite. If we got a hang, let's get it over with. No, 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 wait a minute. There ain't no rush. You sure it tasted all right? If you're going to eat it, eat it. Uh -oh. Oh. What's the matter? I knew it. I knew it had happened of all the gall darn dirty tricks. What's going on in there? I broke my tooth. It's a broken tooth compared to a broken neck. She is the doggonest mean female I ever knew. Spoiling them a condemned man's last meal. First she burns me with hot peppers, and then she hides rocks in the victuals. Hides rocks? Hides rocks? Wait a minute. Smarter. 
Yes, Mr. Krebs. Bring out the prisoners. All right. Keep your hands up. Keep them up. Get your own up. Get that gag up there. Are you sure you want to see this, senorita? A hanging isn't a very pretty thing to watch. On the contrary, I think this one is going to be a very thrilling spectacle. them so long. Martin, Gunner, if those rascals don't want to walk out, go in and drag them out. Come on, boys. Let's try this door. trail as soon as he rounds up his horses. A well, surprise attack on the mine is the only chance we got. Can we get close to it without being seen? I think so. Follow me. Fire it up, you idiots. And got ten minutes start on it. Mexicans and our Americans. They're prisoners. You wait here. We'll take care of this. No. This is my fight too, Senor Cassidy. And don't forget, I know how to use a gun. If I had one. You have one. Gracias. Ah.
Senor Cassidy. Enrique is alive. No, I'm very happy for both of you. Sorry if there isn't much time for introductions. Krebs will be here any minute. Krebs with how many men, senor? Oh, with at least ten. Looks like we got him outnumbered, but what about guns? We have plenty guns, senor. The, the guards keep other ones in the tool house, but we haven't got much ammunition and no horses, and to stay here is very bad. Yeah, I can see that. They'd shoot us like fish in a barrel. Wait a minute. I've got an idea that might work. We'll use those wagons, but we'll make Krebs' men drive them. Get your men and the prisoners into the wagon. California, Johnny, get the guns and ammunition out. Right. right. Tomas, Pedro, you other men, go with the first wagon. You, Miguel, you go with the other guard. So handle it. Tracks that way. Must be headed to the mine. Come on! Driving those lights. Looks like our men. Them rangers chase. Let's help. the law in your own hands. This time we're taking you into our own hands, Mr. Krebs. You can't arrest me. I haven't broken any laws. That is none of your own laws. But the federal government's got a law to take care of you. Contract labor and peonage are illegal in the United States. And Silver Bullet is still a part of the good old USA. Yeah, and you're gonna pay those men what you owe them before they go back home. You can't force me to pay anything without a court order. And I'm judging Silver Bullet. Maybe we'd better hold a new election. Election? Say, that ain't a bad idea. Come on, get out of here. 
he did, eh? Huh? I am. Next. Come on over here. Contract labor, Your Honor. Last case. What does he owe you? 300 pesos, senor. I object. Order in the court. Objection overruled. Hey, all. Here. Hey. Take the change, too. Where he's going, he won't need it. Grande, senor. Muchas gracias. For nada, Hey, get him out of here. You know, I figured you were a much older man. Indeed. Why, senor? Oh, the Commandant told me that you were the Senorita's uncle. Uncle? Yes, uh, you're novio. <laughs> <laughs> novio means sweetheart. You, you mean to say you two are engaged? Yes. Yeah. But California told me that novio meant uncle. Well, that's his idea of Spanish. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.